Okay guys, here's a quick unboxing video of the new controller from Jumper, the Jumper T20S. So, and the feature here, it's actually the first release, the production release of the T20. Uh, you notice the gimbal is different. The new one, hopefully this one, it says um, T20S here. So, yeah, that's T20S the 915 or 900 megahertz uh, version of the ELRS all right so without further ado let's go ahead and clear this plastic apart Here we go. There she is. Um, here's the manual. There's a certificate of uh, quality inspection, but there's no signature or date. There's a sticker for the buttons. And on the right hand side here, they include the um, lanyard connect your controller and hang it off your neck and on the left side there's a cable the USB-C cable for charging the controller and for updating the firmware and this is the controller itself there's nothing else inside there oh there's another one there's a tiny packaging plastic which consists of a spring a spare spring okay let's put this on the side and here is the radio you notice the antenna is longer because this is the 915 megahertz version of the controller so I like the feel, I like the ergonomics of this radio actually. The gimbal is the gimbal is CNC, partly CNC, it's not full CNC gimbal because there are parts of it that, that are plastic. I believe um, this part here are plastic and this one here are is the CNC uh, part of the gimbal. But I like the, the tension of the spring. The spring tension is so soft, it's light. I don't know if you prefer light, but um, I, I prefer the light spring tension of the controller. Um, yeah. Okay, so. The antenna is foldable if you flip it like that halfway and you can also do it like that and if you do it halfway you can actually mount or twist or turn the antenna vertical which is uh, for me I can get a good uh, range with having the antenna on a vertical position um, so it's good for jumper to create or to make the antenna mount which is foldable and at the same time it's also uh, you can turn it like vertical you can mount it vertical just like the TBS Tango too all right so you can see here it's 915 so that means it's a 900 megahertz version of the ELRS there's another one which is 2.4 so this one is the 915 version of the ELRS so going to the switches, start from the bottom. We have these rollers, two rollers. And right next to it is the latching, uh, latching button. So it's latch, it will latch. And then right here, there's two way switch. And then on top, we have the three way switches here. So two three-way switches, two two-way switches, it's two uh, latching button, and there's two rollers at the bottom. 
And here you also have the another knob side. You can use this one for volume or whatever you want to assign. And here is another slider. I don't know for what I can use with this one, but just to remind you guys that this controller is fully programmable in the HDX, so you can customize the function of all the auxiliary switches like this ones and all the buttons as well so there are six buttons auxiliary buttons that you can um, actually assign it to any function that's why they include these stickers so you can put it on the button if you already assign it to the function that you like okay so this is the purpose of the sticker why they include it um, typical jumper buttons you have here the menu and the model in one button you just have to wrong press it to select to like the model add a, the menu or what you call it and then there's an arrow here for if you press it once it will uh, move forward the, the page here and then if you long press it it will go back and then there's the return button so this is just a quick unboxing and um, overview of the controller we will do more uh, in-depth review of how it performs and how it behaves. Um, the gimbal, I, I really like the, the, the feel of the gimbal compared to my uh, previous radio. So yeah, um, alright, let's go to the back because we forget this. We have the battery compartment here. If you slide it, there's a battery case that will fit. Uh, I think it will fit 616850. Actually, I have here the 21700 cell. Let's just have a look in the polarity. So make sure you, you, you look at the polarity of the battery before you mount it. So that's negative for the ground and that's a positive. And this one this is negative and this one. Ah, I don't know if we can fit 21700 in here it's just too small for the 2700 maybe it's a 18650 and I will take 18650 cell it's just too small for 18650 it does fit but it's just too small uh, see, it's loose. Okay, so this is for the 21700, definitely. Alright, so we'll just uh, do another review on that later. So all you have to do is just plug this into the port here. And then you can actually charge it using the USB-C port on this side. So that's it for now, guys. This is a quick uh, unboxing and... And... Uh, Preview of the remote controller by Jumper, the T20S. This is the 915 megahertz version of the ALS. Okay, so thank you very much for watching.